you realize there were 0.008% uh, percent lower expectations like in Zimbab Zimbabwe for delivery. What the hell are you insane? You lost! It's over! Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com weekend update show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. So at, at this juncture of the game, um, it's kind of really hard to dissect what's going on. Uh, if you look at this week, Again, one of, the, one of the craziest weeks as far as uh, a news cycle you'll ever find. Uh, Wednesday really hammered me mentally. Like Wednesday was such a tough day for me mentally, and we talked about it on uh, Wednesday's video. But the market continues to be great. I mean, how many you know how many ways can you uh, go out day in day out and describe the action? Uh, we saw a continued rise uh, in extreme COVID cases. I think uh, New York City saw what eighteen thousand. Uh, New Jersey. Uh, yesterday reported what 7,500. This is like the most uh, we've seen since like the start of this whole thing. So you got crazy uh, cases of COVID. I get it. Everybody's getting tested. Again, I'm not having the whole conversation about uh, COVID and COVID testing. But again, everything's rising. You got this whole uh, mutation going on. You had anarchy in, 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 in the White House uh, just going, you know, things going nuts there. You had people storming Congress, just craziness, just absolute craziness. You got Bitcoin going to 50 million. You got Tesla trying to go to 40 million. You got this rabid bull market. You got rappers. I was just literally on my Twitter feed and you had Meek Mill. For all you guys who listen to rap, you had Meek Mill telling all his followers they should just they should start looking at Bitcoin and, and, and stocks. Again, people are going to joke around and say, is that a top? It's kind of where we are. There's no such things as tops and bottoms. Whatever the last price is um, for the day, is what fair value is, and yes, is, are we in the middle of one of the greatest, you know, stock market runs of all time? Absolutely. I, again, I've been saying this for every video. You know, y you're not going to be able to pick a top. You're always cautious, right? You always kind of in the back of your mind know what's going to happen eventually. But the, again, it just doesn't need to happen today. It doesn't need to happen tomorrow. I mean, this this market is 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 juiced, right? I mean, you you got to you got to test it. Performance enhancement drugs. I mean, this is just. The epitome of what a what a global a aggressive rabbit market is something that, again we have not seen uh, since two thousand and again look just enjoy it okay and, and again it's it's been harder and harder every single day to kind of find value in this tape I refuse to you know buy anything up three four five eight days in a row you know I let it go right let those names go every day we're trying to find the ones. Again, coming out of the bottom channel, the mid-range, uh, hopefully some of these beta mega cap names kind of wake up as a group. You figure by now uh, they would, but they're not. You know, you're sure you're having these continuation of really aggressive runs in a Roku, for example, uh, and a Square, and obviously Tesla. And again, guys, just... Just as an FYI, and, and again, there's a lot of new trade, and you could tell they're new because just the way they speak. No, no, you know, you hear these people talking about, well, the stock can't go any higher. No professional trader will ever say that. So I, I'm, I'm kind of putting two and two together and guessing that somebody's been trading for a year, two years, whatever the case may be, and the word something can't do shouldn't be in your vocabulary. Okay, Tesla can go wherever it wants to go. Okay, it can go, it could be at five hundred next week. It could be at fifteen hundred next week. If you follow the options market, just just by seeing what the really aggressive money flow is, you know these guys are betting. They're not even looking at the nine hundred weeklies. They're not even forget about the nine hundred weeklies. They're skipping nine hundred for next week, and they're looking at the thousand, the ten tens. We saw bets. For the, for the following week for, what, 1200 1250 So, again, the idea that you're a new trader and somebody whispered in your ear and you saw some guy on social media say, there's no way this thing can go higher. Uh, yeah, it could. And, and the problem is you're missing a really big bull market. And a lot of you guys are so new to trading and you have such limited amount of funds. Where, let me just give you a piece of advice. Instead of trying to pick a top on Tesla, we're in a rabid bull market, okay? Your, your money could be in much better places than trying to short the top on Tesla. How do you gonna know there's, there's a top on Tesla? 
six months from now, okay, whenever, whenever it puts it in, okay, number one, you need clues. And, and again, this is why I, I think, again, our ability to guess, all right, our ability to have an opinion kind of hurts us, okay? I stopped giving my opinion. I stopped guessing a long time ago. The price action is the price action. But for all you guys who are trying to pick a top, remember one thing. Rolling tops, okay, rolling tops are not made on one day. You could even have a day next week that Tesla will probably, you know, would, could give up 50, 70 points on one candle. Doesn't mean that's a top. Rolling tops usually happen, happen over several weeks. There's, you're starting to see a bunch of consecutive series of events of lower highs. You're also starting to see, or also you should be seeing, uh, analyst upgrades and a stock doesn't react to those upgrades. You're starting to see good news being negated. You're starting to see the average true range to the upside start to shrink. And only, only, right? And only, if that's not enough, you still need to close below the five-day moving average, right? This is the five-day. If you notice it, every time it hits the five, what does it do? It bounces, 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 bounces. So for, for, for this stock to legitimately have any type of back test, okay? It's gonna to need to lose this five day moving average. And oh, by the way, the following day, it's gonna to need to confirm it. So before anybody starts saying, this is the top, that's the top, uh, you know, somebody, I, I swear to God, the, the funniest thing I've ever heard, as Tesla's ripping up like 250 points in 24 hours, somebody writes, well, you you realize there were 0 0.008 uh, percent lower expectations like in Zimbab Zimbabwe for delivery. What the hell are you insane? You lost. It's over, right? There's no. It just. It doesn't even make any sense. Look, the price action. This price action. This is the the the, the greatest short squeeze I've ever seen in my life. This is unbelievable. I've been doing this for over 21 years. This is just absolutely phenomenal. Would you be buying it up here? Probably not. Should you be buying it into rising dips? That's the only way to play it. But again. You shouldn't try to guess. Let the price action uh, develop. For now, you know, going into next week, and if you look at the indexes again, I mean, again, what are you, what are we dissecting, right? Are we really dissecting that this is still a bull market? Are we really dissecting that every piece of bad news uh, is being kind of put to the side? There's nothing to dissect anymore. It's a bull market until it's not. Again, let the indexes tell you when to kind of shift gears and start looking at prices to the downside until we start breaking at least at least, I mean, at least below this 305 area, which we've covered several times the line in the sand. There's nothing to talk about from a macro point of view uh, on the short side. Again, our biggest challenge is to find value. And that's exactly what we try to continue to do uh, every single day. And if you look at today's activities, again, what we talked about last night, we're trying to find the stocks that are coming out of the channels. I'm not looking at Tesla, not because I don't think it's going to go higher. And again, we did have a pivot today uh, in the webinar off that 760, right? But the point is, look, the, the value is not in Tesla. The euphoria is in Tesla, right? Retails in Tesla, retails in Bitcoin. And again, it, there's nothing wrong with it. If you're making money in this thing, congratulations, keep on going. But again, don't start, you know, don't start rationalizing what it should do, what it really, or what shouldn't it do. Let it do, right? Exactly. Just let it do what it has to do. Right? Let it do what it has to do. So let's talk about today's pivots. Uh, again, macro wise, potato, potato, bull market, blah, 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 look for value. Um, there were some good pivots today. Uh, caught some crowd, uh, caught some crowd, caught some Alibaba, uh, which put some pretty good news came out out of Alibaba. The, the, the destruction in Alibaba this week on news that uh, the treasury was going to ban them. Um, basically, they came out today and said, hey, Alibaba is not one of those names. So that gave a pretty good trade. Uh, crowd uh, gave a pretty good trade today on uh, the Goldman Sachs upgrade off the opening range 126 highs. It confirmed the 227 left and went to the 229s. That was good. Peloton continues to be good. Uh, a lot of these stay-at-home names are starting to wake up. And let's kind of talk about one pivot at a time. Uh, crowd actually got long 226. That was the opening range high. And crowd was good. Crowd was really good. I still like it for next week. So here is the opening range high. Uh, this 226 level right over here, right? 226 level. And it traded right to supply in this 220 line. It got it got through the 227.50, 228. I still like it for next week. Uh, again, Goldman likes it. They gave it a $270 price target. But that was good. Nice seamless trade. Um, pretty good aggression along the way. So I was pretty happy about that. NVIDIA, not there yet. Is it waking up? Is it not waking up? God, call me and just just let me know when it does, right? Uh, DoorDash, again, we talked about this in last night's video. 155 needs to build to get rid of kind of the funk 
uh, kind of get rid of the funk of this downtrend. You can see it. That's exactly what it did. Uh, it took out the 55, went to like 58 and change. Again, if this thing starts rebuilding uh, off 159, I think this thing could let loose. Some pretty decent uh, call buying in the last couple of days. Not that aggressive, but definitely interesting. Uh, some of them looking at the 170s, the $200 calls. So DoorDash is pretty good today. I think it looks better uh, for next week. Um, Viru, I still like. Uh, this little cheapy, I still like. Peloton, again, these stay-at-home stocks waking up. Uh, 157.50, 158 uh, needs to build. Here was Peloton, or Peloton, right? So 157.50, 158. Uh, traded to 159. I still like it. This thing does look like it wants to test uh, all-time highs. So let's keep an eye on Peloton again. Uh, Docu, again, sticking with the theme of um, stay-at-home names. 243 needs to build. Got rejected twice. Here was uh, Docu, right? Here was Docu. Took out the 243. Uh, went to 246 and change. Again, still looks like it wants to test the top of this channel here. So that was fine as well. NGA never got to 27. It reached there. It touched there. Never got quite there. There was some news on it with, with Amazon, and it kind of died on a vine. Uh, BYND never really got down there. It, it broke 117.50 to flush. Uh, small move. Nothing big towards the end. Uh, here is the 117.50, got down to like 16.73. They're defending the 16.50. That will be the big pivot uh, going into uh, next week. So nothing really there on Beyond. Uh, lemonade was huge. For all you guys who caught Lemonade, this was absolutely huge. Uh, 154.50, uh, 155 needs to build. And Lemonade, and I still have no idea what the hell they do. But does it really matter? So here is the 154.50, right? Here is the 154.50, 155, and just uh, absolutely exploded. Went to almost 169, so huge move there. Uh, new highs on Dash. Uh, Baba was pretty good. It wasn't bad at all. Uh, I got long uh, this 235.80s level. Uh, traded as high as the 238. Again, news broke that... Um, News broke that uh, Treasury was not including Alibaba on the ban list, uh, which obviously spiked it intraday. Um, Apple, I kind of like Apple. You know, I still like Apple. Um, here's kind of a, a couple of plays here where, where today. Uh, the 132 remount needs to reclaim. Apple did a good job today. Uh, it didn't really uh, show any significant price appreciation today, but Apple did a good job. This is the first time it closed uh, over the 10-day moving average, which was around that 131.80, 132 area. So this is good. This is good. If Amaz if Apple can start reclaiming uh, 33, that's the top of this whole range here, then I think the stock will start making its move. Hopefully, there'll be a pretty good um, speculation money coming in on uh, beta names for next week. Cross your fingers. Uh, Microsoft looks good as well. We didn't have Microsoft on a pivot today, uh, but it looks good. Look, it stopped at the 10-day moving average. If you look at the, you know, if you look at the how tight it's starting to get, all it needs to do is reclaim uh, the 60-minute, and it can go as well. So again, we're just trying to look for names that are coming off the bottom channels, either the 10-day, uh, the 20-day moving average, obviously the 50 as well, and we're trying to get as much bang for our buck as possible. Zoom, you know, Zoom. I, I thought it might have had a chance to wake up today with Docu. Uh, with Docu and Peloton, not yet, not yet. It still needs a little bit of work to do. Uh, I think it has to reclaim the 50-day moving average for this thing to uh, kind of wake up. But there's some definitely names I like for next week. Uh, Very had a really, really big move. Uh, any washout, uh, let, me, let me give you guys some ideas for next week. Uh, any washout, uh, any washout red to green off a 60-minute channel could be good uh, for next week. Um, look at Google's chart. Right? Google. Oh boy. Right? Look at Google's chart. This is the first close in this really, really long channel here. If this thing confirms today's price action, you got room into the 1850s. Obviously, soon will be earnings season, so a lot of people will be uh, positioning for earnings. But for as far as a run, Google does look uh, really good. Uh, space looks pretty good, right? We saw some space call buying. It got rejected a couple times in the supply zone, so it needs to uh, reclaim as well. So again, the, the theme going into the next week is, again, enjoy the bull market, right? We don't know how long it's going to last. Maybe another day, maybe another month, maybe another six months, maybe another year. We don't know. But again, be an adult, take off the rose-colored glasses, always keep an eye 
for this magical rug pull that eventually will happen. But the most important part, guys, and I say this to everybody, whether you're trading for 20 days or 20 years, your goal is to stay in business. Guys, God bless. Good luck. Have an awesome weekend. And with God's help, I'll see you all on Monday. Take care.